Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. We are just six today. So I see people connecting. Well, well, guys, it is time to start the class. It's already eight o'clock. So um, probably the other ones are going to be connecting through, through the hour. So we're going to start now. With the people that is already on the video conference, let me ask you, what do you remember about yesterday's class? What did we, saw? What did we see, I'm sorry. Anyone that can tell me something a little bit of the class about yesterday? I remember and the place in the house. Yeah, like part of the house, places in the house, something like that, yes. Can you tell me or can someone tell me how do we say a T sala? Living room. Living room. room. Very good. Can someone tell me how do we say pared? Wall. Wall. How do we say that? How do we say pared? How do we say that? Can you guys hear me? Hello? Repeat. Repeat, teacher. How do we say techo? Roof. Roof. Very good. How do we say, let me see, what else? How do we say uh, cortinas? Curtain. Curtain. Very good. How do we say chimenea? Living room. Chimenea. Is that the um, one that we say? Chimney. Chimney. All right. Chimney. That's the Very good. So, um, you remember that for yesterday we still had uh, an exercise that we couldn't do. And uh, this exercise right here was the last one about the two sentences that you're supposed to create using the vocabulary learned in class. So, because we didn't complete it yesterday, I am going to select some people that is going to participate today. And uh, you will have to give me your examples, okay? So uh, let me see. I'm going to choose Angelica Lasso, Heidi Miranda, and Kelia Osorio. Let me see as well, Lisa Castillo and Monica Escobar. Okay, so I'm um, all ears. Let me listen to your examples, please. Hello. Yes, hello. Um, I'm playing in the living room with my friends. Very good. And I, I dance in the garden. 
I dance in the garden. Very good. Thank you so much. Someone else? Go ahead, the next one. I am me. Okay, go ahead. I cook the lasagna in my oven. Oven, okay, very good. Number two. I ate in the kitchen. I'm eating in the kitchen, okay, very good. Number two. Remember that it was two sentences, not only one. It was two. Okay. In the garden are the flowers. In the kitchen is the oven. The oven. Okay, very good. Let me see. Um, I just saw some people that just connect. Welcome once again to the class, guys. Uh, today, what we are doing, because you remember yesterday, we didn't finish the exercise, right? And because we didn't finish it, today, I am asking some people, random people, to give me their examples. So let me see, Monica Escobar, can you please give me your two examples, please? Teacher, ya se los dije. Oh, you were, okay, so I'm sorry, it's okay. So let me see, Mario, I see you're here, let me see. Yeah, Mario, hello, sir. Hi. Okay, give me your two examples, please. Uh, I sleep in the, in the main room. Okay. Uh, I work in the city center. In the city center. Okay, very good. I go art gallery. Okay. Perfect. So, uh, thank you so much for the people that already participated. The other ones, um, please try to participate, guys, because remember, we are here to learn, to participate. And if you do not participate, are you learning something? If you, that's why we are here, to participate, to uh, make mistakes, to learn, to improve ourselves and do all these type of things, okay? So uh, with that being said, for today, we have something that is going to be a little bit different from the things that we saw yesterday. For today we have, um, there is and there are. Have you ever heard about it? Have you ever heard about it? Yes. Yes. What, what does there is and there are means? Do you know what that means? There. What does that mean in Spanish? There is and there are. Do, does any one of you know what's the meaning? There is is for singular. There are is plural. But do you know the meaning? No. There is. Objetos que están cerca and there are cuando son varios. Okay. Let me give you a brief explanation. There is and there are both means hay. Ambos significan hay, pero no un hay de dolor, sino que un hay de haber, de cosas. For example, there is as some one of your classmates said, como alguno de sus compañeros dijo, it is for singular, and there are, it is for plural. Both of them means the same. So what is the difference? One for plural, one for singular. Here we have a brief definition of what is there is and there are. 
the expressions there is and there are are used to indicate that something exists or is in a certain location. Here we have some examples. As you can see over here, it says, there is a cell phone on the table. That will be, or that will mean, hay un teléfono sobre la mesa. So there is means haber o existir. Yeah, so there is a cell phone on the table. There are apples on the table. Hay manzanas sobre la mesa. So that's pretty much it. This is just a brief explanation for you to understand a little bit of the meaning. Okay, so here we have also some information very important that you need to know in order for you to understand how do we create sentences in the affirmative, the negative form, and the interrogative form. So the first part, in the affirmative form, in the form affirmativa, we have the, same, the following structure. La estructura siguiente, right? It is, there is a computer on the desk. After, podemos utilizar a or and on the platform we have some exercises about a and right tenemos ejercicios sobre a and yes so yes here when we use a there is or when we use a there are we we can use some of them and specifically for there is, we are going to use a or m. As this example over here, there is a computer on the desk. For the negative form, very simple. We just have to add the word not in order to create a negative form. So we are going to say there is not a pillow on the bed. Okay, so. And for the interrogative form, for la forma interrogativa, what are we going to do? Very simple. We just move the verb be at the beginning and then the word there, and after that, the complement. So we say, is there a park there? Is there a park there? Is there a park there? So as you can notice over here, what we do is just, we just move. Move the verb be at the beginning and then the word there. So we say is there. This is for the, for the singular form, as you can see it. But what happened with there are? Is it different? Yes, it is a little bit different, as you can see here. As I was telling you before, guys, there is, it is for singular, right? And there are is going to be for the plural. So when you have more than one thing, más de una cosa, we are going to use there are. But if there's only one thing, we are going to use there is. As the example over here, in the affirmative form, we are going to say, there are three chairs in the classroom. There are three chairs in the classroom. That's for the affirmative form. But what about the negative form? Very simple. We just have to add the word not after the verb be, and we say, there are not oranges in the fridge. There are not oranges in the fridge. For the interrogative form, very easy. We are going to do pretty much the same thing as we did right here. We are just going to move the verb be at the beginning, then the word there, and after that, it's going to be the complement. As example over here, are there two smartphones? Are there two smartphones? Are there two smartphones? 
that is the way that we create affirmative question sentences, negative sentences, and interrogative questions. Is there any questions so far, guys? Any questions so far? Yo tengo una duda. Hmm? Um, este there y there, bueno, there is and there are, eh, ¿qué, ¿qué diferencia hay con this and this? Mm, that is a completely new story. Esa es una historia completamente diferente. Porque this and these, esos son demonstrative pronouns, pronombres demostrativos. Eh, that is completely different. Eso es completamente. Porque cuando utilizas tú this or this, the plural and the singular, eso significa esto. Esto, eso, aquel, aquello, o eso. But there is and there are, esto significan hay. ¿Sí? Uno para el singular and one for the plural. So, sea singular o sea plural, los dos van a significar hay. ¿Cuál es la diferencia que en gramática... Para uno se util, para there is se utiliza para singular y there are se va a utilizar para, para plural, even though they both mean the same, aunque ambos signifiquen lo mismo. If you can notice over here, and there are, ya tenemos más de un objeto. And there is, es solo para un objeto, y en there are, cuando ya tenemos más de uno, es decir, de dos para arriba. As example over here, we have, there are three chairs in the classroom. So do not get confused between demonstrative pronouns and there is and there are. They are very different, okay? Okay, gracias. You're welcome. Any other questions so far, guys? Is it easy for you the way we create sentences and questions? Is it easy for you to understand that? It's easier, right? Guys, I need a yes or a no. Is it un sí or no? Because if you don't say para no. La interrogativa, para la interrogativa, eh, siempre tiene que referirse a dos o más objetos. If CS, yes, there okay. are. Yes, but if it is, okay. if there is just one. Okay. Y en el there is, vamos a utilizar los, eh, la letra A y la letra A N. A and N. ¿Sí? Okay, thank you. Cool. Teacher. Yes. Y para diferenciarlo, ¿cuándo usar la A y A N? That's a very good question. I was saying like, I don't, I don't remember if it, was, if it was yesterday or the day before, but I was saying that, for example, if you have a word or the way to the differentiate when to use A and when to use N, it's very simple. If you are going to use A, like this example over here, it is because the word, that it goes after, la palabra que va después, empieza con una consonant. Y cuando vamos a utilizar AN, es decir, AND, es porque la palabra que viene va a ser una vocal. Por ejemplo, eh, si yo tuviera oranges, podría decir, o si solo tuviera orange, solo, la más, solo una naranja, Yo podría decir, there is an orange. ¿Por qué estoy usando an? Porque la palabra orange empieza con o, una vocal. So it's very easy. You are going to use the letter a with when the word that comes before, it is starts by a consonant. And you are going to use an when the word before, it starts with a vowel. 
Thank you. Okay. Any other questions so far? So far, so good. Ask the question, guys, because if not, I understand that if you don't ask question, it is because uh, everything is clear. Teacher, when you use, when you use uh, word in or at. All right, so in, it is when we want to say that those are prep, our preposition of times, right? So some preposition is the tiempo. If I say in, it is because something está dentro de algo o simplemente significa en. Si lo estoy utilizando as a preposition, lo estoy utilizando como una preposición, in will means dentro. Like dentro de, está en, pero dentro de. I don't know if you get the idea, but when I use at, cuando utilizo at como una preposición, it can be uh, in a specific moment, un momento específico del que tú estás hablando, o un lugar específico al que tú vas, o un lugar específico that you're talking about. For example, if I said the, the video conference will be at 8 o'clock, Estoy utilizando the preposition at porque estoy hablando específicamente de una hora. At. I don't know if you get me the idea, Eric. Um, como a las. A las, exactly. Algo así. En ese caso, en you... Yeah. In, eh, si nos referimos, por ejemplo, nos vamos a reunir en la noche, pero no en una hora específica. No. If you said, we will meet, nos reuniremos en la noche, tú estás hablando de a, específicamente en la noche. Entonces tú no ah. puedes decir, we will meet in night. ¿Qué es lo que te acabo de decir? Si vas a hablar de algo específico, Vas a utilizar at. Entonces tú vas a decir, we will meet at night. Porque estás diciendo que específicamente en la noche se van a reunir. Aunque no lleve una hora exacta. Exacto. Wow. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. El, el in se podría usar como in the, in the house. In the house. Es dentro. I Exactly. Okay. Que se traduce como en, pero en sentido figurativo tú estás dentro de. I don't know if you get Exacto. it. All right. Mm -hmm. So, if there is a question, so I'm going to move on to the next part. And here we have some contractions. Some contractions that we can use when it comes to there is and there are. So, for the there is part, we have the contraction. We can say there's, or we can say there is. Both of them are correct. So keep that in mind. There is, or the contraction, there's. Example over there. We can say there's a good song on the radio. There's a good song on the radio. Something that I want you to understand or to be clear about it. It is that if you are going to use a contraction, please be really careful with your pronunciation. Why? Because you gotta be, or you have to pronounce the letter S very clear. Like there's, there's, something like that. There's, there's. So remember, keep that in mind. If you are going to use contractions, please, be clear with the sound of the letter S. Because for American native pe people or American speakers, they are very clear on their pronunciation. So it's very important that you know how to pronounce that word. That's why uh, most of the people, la mayoría de las personas, prefieren no utilizar la contraction because when it comes to pronunciation, it's a little bit difficult for them to pronounce it. But I think it's not difficult. It is just 
like that you get used to that, que se acostumbran a eso. So, there is, there's. There is, there's. That's, that's a pronunciation. So, that's for Teacher. the, yes? Uh, but it's, but it's contraction, but, uh, sorry, uh, but it's in negative form, the contraction, there, there isn't or right. there is not. No, uh, both ways are correct. When it comes to contraction in negative, you can say it in both ways. It means that you can say there isn't or you can say there's not. Both of them are completely right. There's no problem about that. It is up to you. I mean, if you want to say that there is not, you can say it in that way. Or if you want to say that there isn't, it's up to you. But both of them are correct. Thank you so much for that, Eric. Very good question. So that is for the there is part. When it comes to there are, there is no contraction. It says here, you cannot contract there are. Sería medio lógico por, por, por la pronunciación, right? When it comes to pronunciation. Se escucharía, se escucharía similar. Like there are. Uh -huh. there, there, there. <laughs> like very weird. That's why when it comes to pronunciation to phonetic, cuando se habla de phonetica, that's why in the English phonetic, we cannot or we are not allowed to use there are a contraction. So for this one, para esta siempre vamos a tener que decir there are. There's no contraction. Si hay contracción when it comes to negative. Porque en el negativo lo que vamos a contractar sería el verbo to be with the word not. So we can say there aren't. But when it comes to the word there are by itself, la palabra there are por sí misma, there's no contractions at all. There's no contractions at all, okay? So we have an example over here that it says there are nine cats on the roof. You see why it is important that you remember the parts of the house? Because now that we are moving forward, we are going to see or we are going to find some vo vocabulary about the past vocabularies of the past classes that we have already seen. So that's why it is very important that you study at least 10 minutes or just to practice what we see in the class. Okay, so I'm going to move forward if there is no question. Here we have like a general example. This is what uh, Eric was asking. Aquí está lo que Eric estaba preguntando, right? We can contract the, in negative, we can contract. We can say there isn't is going to be equals to there is not. There aren't, it will be equals to there are not. And both of them are correct. So it is up to you to decide which one are you going to use? We have some examples right here and I will need some help. Let me see. Um, people who do not participate that much, las personas que no participan mucho, those are the ones that I'm going to be asking. So let me see. Um, let's see. Alfred Guillén. Hello, good evening. Hello, sir. Good evening. Can you please help me reading the part on green? The green part. Yes. All right, go yes. ahead. Uh, there's a computer. There's an exercise bike. There are some DVDs. Very good. Perfect. Si se fijan aquí. ¿Qué cambió de A and M para el plural? ¿Qué fue lo que cambió? Esta palabra, some. Esta palabra, some, se va a utilizar como el plural de las palabritas. A and M. So there are some DVDs. That will mean algunos. There are some DVDs. All right. Thank you so much, Alfred. So let me see, Lisette. Castillo, can you please help me reading 
the let's see the red part there isn't a tv there aren't any bells the next part of the on red uh, no there isn't no they aren't very good here we have like uh, like in the negative examples. And these ones that we have over here are just the short concepts. Let me see um, another person. Oh, hey, so, hello. Hello. Can you please help me reading the part, the yellow part and the green part and also the, all these parts. The part at the bottom. Can you please tell me everything? Okay. Is there a telescope? Are there any bedrooms? Yes, there is. Yes, there are. No, there isn't. No, there aren't. Very good. As you can see here, guys, those are the short answers the type of short answers that we can use when it comes to a question with there is and there are. So you can easily say, for example, if I ask you, is there a telescope? You can say, yes, there is, or no, there isn't. Very simple and very easy. So any questions so far, guys? There's no okay. question. Yes. Uh, significa any or oh, any? No, any? Not any? Uh -huh. Any? Any? Okay. Uh, I will. I will tell you right now. Se lo puede decir ya, but this is going to be the class for tomorrow. I will give you just a brief detail. Significa ninguno. Este any es como el negativo de este some. Que únicamente oh. es utilizado para negativos. In some, Thank you, teacher. But, a positive. but tomorrow we are going to see that a little bit more deeper, but right? because that is the class for tomorrow. Okay, so if there's a teacher. question, yes, tell me. Um, some sería para hablar en plural, in para plural. referirse a, yeah. en plural. Yes, there in are. De, in vez de A y en vez de am. Exactly. A and N is going to be used only for there is. And some is going to be used only for there are. It means plural. Y a, some no se usa en negativo, aunque sea plural. Yes, there are some exceptions. There are some exceptions, hay algunas excepciones, but we are going to see that tomorrow because that is the class of tomorrow. Uh, so if you want to know that information, do not miss the class for tomorrow, okay? Okay. Perfect. So here we have a resume, un resumen about everything. Like this is pretty much everything. The way that you have to use there is, the way that you have to use there are, negative, affirmative, and questions. Here is the best explanation that I can give you. This is the resume of everything. So as you can see here, the way that you have to use there is, there are, and some examples right here, the negative form, and some examples at the right, at the right side, and some questions, how are you going to change the verb be and the word there? And obviously um, some other parts of, of this. For example, we can use, podemos utilizar la WH question, how many? How many, después un, un now, y después are there? We have an example right here. How many students are there in your class? 
¿Cuántos estudiantes are there I in tu clase? How many days are there in February? Yes, they, this is another form, another form or another way to use there is and there are. But how many, how many casi siempre we are going to use it for the plural? Nunca lo vamos a utilizar para el singular. Generalmente se va a utilizar para el plural y solo el plural. We are going to use how many. Yes, keep that in mind. Okay, so, teacher. Okay, teacher. Questions so far? No questions? No. No. All right. If there is no question, guys, please, you know what you have to do. Take a picture, take a screenshot, or whatever it's easier for you, because we are going to work on this. Let me know when you take the picture or the screenshot so I can move on. Is it done? That is teacher. All right. The yeah. next one. Let me know when it's done. That is Yes. And this is another one. Finish. Finish. And this is the last one. Hmm? Yeah, this is a lot. Today is a lot. That's why <laughs> oh, yeah. I, was, I was asking <laughs> you, is there questions? Is there something? And nobody said nothing. Mm -hmm. So I guess, is it clear as the water? Finish. All right, that, that's it. Those are the exercises that we are going to do for today. We have uh, like pretty much 20 minutes to complete. Yes. So any question that you might have uh, regardless to the, or regarding to the exercises? Is there any question? And this the ultimo? And this one. What you have to do is just. Uh, it's, yes to convert this word or this phrase that you have, convert it to there is or there are. Ah, uh, okay, thank you. All right. So, well guys, uh, last time or I have been checking, estado eh, viendo when we are doing the exercises, that some of you are speaking in English or are trying to, to do that in English. I want to congratulate the people that is doing that. Felicitar a las personas que están intentando al menos hablar inglés while you're doing the exercises, okay? That is something really good. I'm taking that into consideration, okay? I know that some words probably you don't know how to express yourself in English, but at least you are trying to do it. And that is something really good. Even though if you don't know that much vocabulary, it is very good that you are practicing. So, traten uh, de hablar un poquito inglés, or if you don't know how to say it in English, okay, it's perfect if you say it in Spanish. But at least try to practice. Trata de practicar con sus compañeros, okay? So, um, we are 16, so we are going to go to the groups. Okay, guys, please go ahead, join your groups and try to work on the exercises. If you have questions, I will be there.
Hello, Lisa. Are you having problems connecting to your group? Vaya, vamos a llenar los espacios en blanco. Sí. Creo que en el primero sería... Eh, ¿Cómo es pregunta? Creo eh, que sería arder. Ok. Work around the streets of your city. Caminar alrededor de la calle en tu ciudad. Is, es pregunta. Sería, is there rubbish on the street? No sé si están de acuerdo. ¿Qué es rubbish? Ya lo busqué, me sale que es basura, rubbish. Entonces sería como hay basura en la calle. Ajá, hay basura en las, bueno, sí, en las, en las calles, en las calles. Ah, por eso creo yo que sería are there. Are there rubbish on the streets, sí. Yes, are there? In many, no sé si alguien más quiere leer. No, si quiere In many, okay, in many countries in the world, in a I think that ah. cars is from ah yes 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 it's because from bottles. Chairs. There there are there are chairs. There are chairs from bottles or bottles. Uh, bottles. There are chairs from bottles. Two guys. Uh, they aren't. I, I, ah I, yes. I think I think they, they are there there aren't bottles in the roof at the and the doors. Uh, aren't aren't okay. Okay, they are Everybody, I remember you were four and I can see only three of you. Uh, Please repeat, teacher. I don't understand. Did someone disconnect from the call? Because I remember that you were four and I can only see three right now. Oh, no, I got your money. Me, teacher, my internet. Okay. Okay, I'm checking some of your answers, guys. And I just want to tell you, be careful with the question. The questions are not the same than a sentence. Verify that, please. Uh, okay. Very. Ah, yes, yes. Is there? Is there 
Is there rubbish? Is there rubbish? Is a question. Ah, it's yes. Because Sorry, it's a teacher. question. Okay, okay. I'll be back. Okay, I'm. I'm just checking. Yes. There all is plastic. all plastic city boxes. Um, pero primero um, se menciona un singular. Boxes. Um, uh -huh. ¿Qué significa? Cajas. Cajas. Por pero otro no sé qué significa. Institute. En lugar de. Oh, en lugar de. Como refiriéndose a plásticos viejos. En lugar de las cajas. Y um, no. No va a sacar a ti siguiente. Ah, ya me está ¿Ah? Ya me confundieron. Is... Bueno, entonces. Es que dice And... there is not. Que solo terminamos bien en donde dice in is in his house. Hasta ahí íbamos bien. Ajá, vaya, ahorita y no acaban. Vaya, en, Ajá, en, que en, terminamos uh -huh. con there are a. Entonces uh -huh. la siguiente, no sé si es there is um one bedroom. Uh -huh. Para mí es there is an. Ajá. Uh Ajá, -huh. uh -huh. there is an. Um, uh -huh. One bedroom. But, but, but there is not. Them. Not. There is them, is. Uh -huh. Entonces, one bedroom, but. The rhythm. There are two socks. Yes. Sí, como en las patitas de la silla, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes.
the next uh, it's true solo veo un, un tiburón One is one only one. Two, only one is false. False. Okay. False. Two Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Uh, take a picture. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Exercise. Look and shows is there or are there? Okay. Okay. Ex exercise three. Yes, exercise three. Uh, any apples are any there? App are there? Okay. No. no, quizás se refiere al pulpo, pero no es. Oh. Sería falso. False. Some float. If someone disconnected from the call, guys, because I can see just three of you and I remember you were four. Am I right? Mm. Did someone connect to? Excuse me? Did someone disconnect from the call? Because I remember that you were four. And now I can, I just can only see three of you. What mm -hmm. happened with the other one? Disconnected? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Okay, keep on doing, guys, because you only have five minutes left. Ahí the next, the next. Uh -huh. 
Vamos con la tercera. Es, eh, la tiene Beatriz. Ahorita. Para que Look podamos... and choice. Is there or are there? Is there? Ahí vamos a usar there is o there are. Yes. Okay. La primera okay. es. Pero para hacer yes. question. No veo. Question. Yes, yes. <laughs> question. Son. Question. Any offer on the table? Um, uh, are, there. Are, are there are Well, I think that pretty much everyone is back at the, in the meeting. So uh, we are going to try to resolve at least the first part, because I know that because of the time you have probably not finished yet, but I will need some volunteers no. for the first part. So let me see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I will need your help. So we are just going to do the first part, okay? So it means we're just going to do this part. So I will need some help. Let me see number one for Hazel, number two for Mario, number three for Angelica, number four for Kelly, number five for Eric, number six for Alfred, Number seven, Beatriz. Number eight, Catherine. Number nine, Roxana. And number 10, Heidi Miranda. So please go ahead and try to do it now. Juan. Yes. Are there rubbish on the streets? Okay, very good. Are there, are there rubbish? Is it correct? Are there rubbish? Does anyone I have think is there. Is there. Is there. Is there. Is there. Is there. A, is there. Is there, a, is there rubbish on the street? Very good. It is not are there. It is is there. Number two. There are all bottles and paper everywhere. There are all bottles and paper everywhere. Very good. Number three. Are uh, there are thousands of bottles Very in good. his house? There are thousands of bottles in his house. Very good. Mm -hmm. Number four. There is one bedroom. There is one bathroom. Very good. Perfect. Number five. But there isn't a normal bed in it. Perfect. The next one. They are chairs from bottles too. There are chairs from bottles too. Very good. The next one. 
There are there are not a bottles in the roof and the door. Very good. There are not or there aren't bottles in the roof and the door. Thank you so much. Very good. The next one. There are all plastic seated boxes in Steve. Very good. There are all plastic seated boxes instead. Very good. The next one. In fact, there are not many new things in Alfred house. There are not many new things in Alfredo's house. Very good. And the last one? There are any house like this is your country. Repeat it again. There are in any house like this is your country. No, that is not correct. Why? Because it is are a there, question. Are they? It is a question. Are there? So it is okay. Are, are there any houses like this in your country? Very good. Okay. So guys, because we couldn't complete the exercises, please try to keep working on at home if you can. And because tomorrow we are going to start by the exercise exercises that we couldn't finish today. So um, once again, guys, thank you so much for coming to the class, for paying attention. Try to keep working on the platform because you have to get at least 80%. 80% at the end of the course or at the end of the module. Eso es lo que tienen que tener al, al final del módulo to be able to go to the next level, okay? So please try to be working on the platform. If you have questions, let me know. Teacher. Teacher. Yes? One observation in the exercise of platform eh, hay una parte donde se contesta y en las respuestas cuando todas salen bien o sea del 100% este le da la opción de poder ver las respuestas buenas y malas pero cuando las respuestas salen unas malas ya no, no da la opción creo que tal vez ahí se podría mejorar o sea si uno tiene una respuesta mala debería de aparecer como cuál es la respuesta correcta a mí me dio en unas que eran de escribir and right. Can you please try to send me a screenshot through the WhatsApp or to text me directly so I can send that image to human resources and we can see what we can work with. Okay, teacher. Okay, please try to do that. And thank you so much for the observation, okay? Thank you. So guys, this is it for today. Thank you so much for coming to the class and see you tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. Okay. Bye. See you tomorrow. Thank bye. you. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye.